Yo, what is going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with a six-game NBA main slate video. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below because that would really help out my channel a lot. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Hopefully you guys won today. It was, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna do very good until the man named AD came through at 10% ownership. So if you guys watched last night's video, you guys should have cashed nicely. My thumbnail, my player of the day was AD, my top pay up. And he would have got him a very low ownership. Uh, my other low owned play today was Vucevic. So on uh, a six gamer, I kind of try and go against a field like that on a slate that didn't have much value. And it was a low scoring slate because Luca got ejected. Um, and the obvious, like cheap plays didn't do very well. So it was just a it was a Sunday slate. You know, you got to learn to adapt to these Sundays, these weird Sunday slates. So Hopefully you guys did. Hopefully you guys got that bread. I know we did in the club. Had a great members only podcast today. And let's get into it, guys. That's why you're here. Um, first off, my sponsor, Draft Dashboard, guys. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket. Sweepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win cheat, it's got the best studs, best bid tier, best value. This is draft dashboard. All right, guys. So off the top, let's look at the injuries real quick. So Carmelo Anthony's questionable. Christian Wood, Kelly Olenek, Jeremy Lamb, Brogdon, Snell are all questionable. Bradley Beal is going to be out. Um, let's see. Does that cover everybody right now? Chetty didn't play today. That I think Cleveland's on a back-to-back, -back, so I'll have to watch that. Um, Ingram was out eight hours ago. So is Steven Adams. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. All right, so here we go again. Russell Westbrook, 11K. Why, 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 why is he 11K? He's going for the triple-double record, and don't think he's not, he's not going to get that triple-double today. Now, with that said, he should against Atlanta, right? But here's the thing I noticed. With Atlanta, he's done pretty good, but his last two, not so much, 42 and a 36. Now, his last five games, 80, 62, 80, 80, 74. Of course, if you're playing one lineup, play Russell Westbrook. Now, if you're playing two or three, try one without him. Because if he because if he busts at 11K, he's probably going to be about 70% owned tomorrow. So if he busts, and let's say you do Steph and Set or Dame, right? Mainly Steph, because they're very close in price. You could already have that edge over 70% of the field. So just an idea. It's not a good idea if you're playing one lineup, single entries, cash games. Play Russell Westbrook for the love of God. They won't mess with this price tag. Bradley Beal's going to be out. It's a perfect storm, right? So, normally when that's a perfect storm, that's when players bust. So I just have a bad feeling about this, guys. Bad feeling about Russell Westbrook. But I'm going to play him. You know, it is what it is. Um, I run two, maybe three lineups. I'm playing lighter because I'm uh, waiting for the playoffs. But this is the last week of the NBA season, so. Um, I can start going uh, hard on these playoff games. But, yeah, Russell Westbrook, I'm kind of like 50-50. I have that weird spidey sense. Um, Steph Curry at 10-5 to be alternate, maybe, but I'd rather just get the Russ. Damian Lillard, I love against Houston. He's only 9-7. 49-54, 48 in his last three against him. Um, Mr. Damian Lillard has been all 50 burgers, guys. 49, 58, 55, 53, 58 in his last five. So I don't see that stopping anytime soon. You want to go more balanced, you can just start with Damian Lillard on your second lineup if you're going to fade uh, Westbrook at 70% ownership. Trey Young is okay at 9-3. Just when I play him, he sucks. 53-40-44. Um, should be a high-scoring game. Should be fast-paced. 
against Washington, 54, 78, 36, 32. So his last two games, he's crushed this price tag. So Trey Young would be in play. Um, let's see. John Morant. I can't, man. He's too inconsistent. Same with Bogdan Bogdanovich. He's in play it's at 7K. I like that. Um, 38, 23, 32 minutes. So as long as the game stays close, he'll get close to 40. Uh, last two against Washington, 36, 35. Last three, 38, 35, 41. So he's really found a new home here. So get him in there at 7K. TJ McConnell, if Brogdon is out, it's a fine play. He's 5.7K on DraftKings. $500 more on Fandle. But last time he played Cleveland, guys, look at this. He got that 65 burger. Cleveland does turn the ball over. So he's he'll steal the ball like against teams like Chicago, like that, like 10 steals, some some crazy amount. So if Brogdon is out, I do like TJ McConnell. Sneaky, sneaky at 5'7, guys. Uh definitely in play. Same with Davincio. He's he's 5'2. Um, besides Giannis, he's the only other Milwaukee guy I like on the slate. Because for 5-2, he's been getting 37, 32, 33 in his last three. And the last time he played San Antonio, he got a 40-burger. So you know he's going to start. You know he's going to get 30-plus minutes. So DaVinci out 5-2, guys. Get him in there. I think that's kind of too cheap. Um, Lonzo Ball, 8K. I think it's fine. Ingram should be out if uh, Zion's out, too. I think Ball's definitely in play at 8K. 35, 51, 30. Very inconsistent. But it is against Memphis. Um, I don't think he had a good game today. I didn't play him, but I don't think he did. So he'll probably bounce back and get a 50 because everybody's mad at him and they won't play him. And it's a good matchup. Again, with those guys gone, I don't mind it. Jordan Clarkson is 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jordan Clarkson is a four is probably a 5K, maybe, maybe 5'9 player. This man should never be this expensive. So no. And no. Uh Bledsoe at 5'9. He went nuclear tonight, guys. He's on another level right now. You might want to ride the hot hand here. He's 5'9. He's two hundred dollars cheaper on Fandle. You know, it could be the Eric Bledsoe show again. But if Lonzo goes off, then I don't think Bledsoe's going to do much. Um, he will get the minutes, though. They'll be out there. So definitely worth a look. And these Houston guys, again, I mean, they're all in play. Not named DJ Augustine. Amari Brooks, 4'8". Don't mind the price tag. Comes off the bench, gets mid-30s minutes. Um, capable of getting a 41. He did two games ago. And he's, they, these guys are all playing Portland, so it's a good matchup for them. Portland does not play defense against guards, so I don't mind Amari Brooks. And with no Bradley Beal, I do like Raul Neto at 4.5K. The Neto wafer, $300 more on Fandle. Um, he's been pretty consistent lately, and with I think he'll be probably chalky, though. So if he is, I might bait him, but 4.5 is too freaking good. So Neto, get him in there at 4.5. Uh, Ish Smith, too. With no Bradley Bill at 3 3, I kind of like that. So I probably pick up in cash games, it's going to be Neto. GVPs, you might want to get Ish Smith because you don't know Ish if you don't do it. Um, so what is he? $800 more on Pandle. Sorry, guys. I was trying to read that. Uh, nearsighted. I can't see up close. Is that what they call it or do they call that farsighted? I don't know. I'm one of the sided where I can't see up close. It happens, guys. Uh, but, yeah, get him in there. That's great value. And I think it's a great GPP uh, dart throw. Ish freaking Smith. All right, so let's go to shooting guard. Yeah, be sour. All right. Karis LeVert, if Brogdon is out, is definitely in play at 9K. Now, Brogdon is in. Hell the freak, no. Not at 9K. It's that simple. 69-63 in his last two. Plays 40 minutes a game. Um, usage rate, 40%. Against Cleveland, yeah, guys. Brogdon is out. Get yourself some Karis LeVert. Again, you can put him in one of those lines that you're fading Westbrook at 9K. Um, now, again, if, remember, I don't want to hear, like, Skywalker, you said don't play Westbrook. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're playing more than one lineup, get some lines without him because I just have a bad feeling. I could be wrong, but 
snap feeling, guys. What are you going to do? Kyrie Tom Thomas. Let's talk about this man for Houston. 5.5K, signed like a 10-day contract, something like that. Um, last game got 33 minutes. All right, 53 fantasy points. Look for about the same, guys, because signing, signing a, a contract just to the end of the season kind of intrigues me. I think they're going to, you know, why would they save him, right? I think they'd run him out there a lot. So I do like Kyrie Thomas at 5'5". Five, five. Um, even if he gets at this price point, like a 30, it's okay. I don't mind it. Uh, let's see. Deshaun Tate, all these Houston guys, man, 6'5". Played 29 minutes, so I was kind of surprised by that. But still got a 42, so I do like that. Um, let's see. Daquan Jeffries even played 36 minutes, 38 fantasy points at 4'4". $200 more on Fandle. All these Houston guys. As long as Christian Wood is out, um, especially if Olenek's out. If both those guys are out, all these Houston guys, again, they'll be down to like seven players again. So we have to really watch this news with Houston because then there can be some really good value. All right, let's go to small forward. So DeMar DeRozan is kind of too cheap anytime he's under 8K. He's 7.9K. Yes, it's $100, but you know what? It makes a difference. I eat. $300 more on FanDuel. Um, it's DeRozan. Very safe play. 30 to 40, 50 sometimes fantasy points. Last time against Milwaukee, you got a 53. 38, 40. So I think you can get DeRozan probably at lower ownership this late. And I'd say he gets about 40 here. So I don't mind that at 7, 9 at all. Kyle Anderson at 5'8 is fine. Uh, even with Clark back, um, 30 fantasy points, 31 minutes last game. Last time against New Orleans, look at this, a 34 and a 40. So Slow Mo does like to play New Orleans. So I don't mind it at 5'8. Is he priority? No, hell no. But you got 5'8 left over. He's looking at you right in the face. Yeah, guys, then you can get him in there. I wouldn't go out of my way to get him, though. Uh, James Johnson should. I, I don't think Stephen Adams is going to play. Um, he should get the start, guys, again at 4-6. He had a great game today, got 30 fantasy points. Um, playing why he's still cheap. He's probably going to play out the rest of the year. Uh, $200 cheaper on FanDuel. James Johnson, get it, him in there. Anthony Lamb, 4-1. Played 31 minutes last game, guys. Had me totally tilted because he got eight fantasy points. The game was for that 27-34. So, out of the Houston guys, especially if uh, Olenek and Wood are out, I'd go right back here to Anthony Lamb in a heartbeat at 4-1. Maybe his ownership is lower this time. All right, guys. So, hopefully everybody had a great Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day again to the mothers out there. Um and to the dads, too, who are single dads who are the mothers and the fathers, right? That, that, that exists, man. My brother was one. So shout out to just the parents, man. The moms and dads, both of y'all. So let's go to power forward. Don't you dare be soured. And let's feel the power power forward here, guys. Uh, Giannis Antipupu. Yes, Antipupu. Y'all still leave me comments about mispronouncing names. I'm going to do a whole video. For those of you that are easily offended and, and like these people are like your best friends or something, you don't even know these guys. Have a sense of humor. Relax. This is all for fun. I'm going to do a whole video. I'm going to butcher every single person's name. You guys don't stop with that because I, I, I do get a rise when when people are, get triggered. I kind of I have to admit I do get a rise out of it. That does make does entertain me. Uh, he's 10, eight. He's under 11 K. Great matchup against San Antonio. Last two times, 60 burgers. Um, his minutes have been down lately, 28, 29. They might be taking it easy on him because there's only a week left in the season. So, But he is in play at 10, 8. Again, another possible pivot from Westbrook. So bonus at 10, 6. As long as Miles Turner and Brogdon are out, I don't mind it. If Brogdon's going to play, I kind of do mind it. I kind of do because 10, 6. That's a hefty price tag. Um, been playing 40 minutes a game. He's been picking up the slack. Against Cleveland, he's been here, you know, 37, 51, 33. What if he gets one of these 33-point games? You're not going to be too happy if, he, if you're paying 10-6 for him. So if Brogdon's out, I like the Sabonis play at 10-6. $100 more on Vandal. Uh, Rui Hachimura, 
4.9 K way too cheap. Now I know we don't like messing with these Washington bigs, but when that span up, when Beal was out, you guys remember when Hachimura was like six, almost seven K that's because he was going off. He played 34 minutes last game, got 24 fantasy points. I think with Beal out, I think Hachimura does get a boost. There'll be Westbrook number one, and then probably Hachimura number two, as far as like the, 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 the pecking order of scoring. So Love Rui at 4-9, guys. Get him in there. And then Dalgonari at 4-8 is way too cheap. I'll play him before I play dumbass Clarkson. But he's 1,500 more on FanDuel, so definitely more of a DraftKings player. Comes off the bench, plays at the game's close, he'll play 30 minutes. It's against Washington. 37-30, 51 in his last three. Gallinari, guys, don't forget about him tomorrow. Get him in there at 4.8K. And, of course, if Kelly Olenek plays at 8-1, get him in there because he'll get you 50 to 60. If not, of course you don't. But I just had to point that out. Kenyon Martin Jr. at 6-2. Don't mind the price tag here, especially the way he's been playing. 50, 47, 50 in his last three. If Wood is out, especially if Olenek's out and Wood is out, Kenyon Martin Jr., guys, at 6-2. Definitely get him in there. Again, we got to watch this news. Juan Toscano Anderson, 5K. Don't mind it here. 31, 32 minutes in his last two. 36, 30 fantasy points against Utah. It's a tough matchup. They're, they're you know, the toughest in the league. You got Rudy Gobert defense down there. So um, we'll see. I have to think about that one. But it's just he's kind of cheap. Uh, who else? Bertans, if you want to take a shot here. He's been getting the minutes. The minutes isn't the problem. It's just his production's been absolutely crap. So he's worth a GPP. Dean Wade got the start. At, he's 3-4. He really didn't do good. So that's two games in a row where he's out there. He, he'll get 30 minutes a game. But this is production just so bad, man. Him and Okoro is just like, God, what are they both doing out there? But last time against Indy, he did get 31. So if you get him at low ownership at 3-4 and he gets you that 30-burger, they're nice. All right, so let's go to center. Okay, so I love Rudy Gobert at 8.5K. Love Rudy Gobert in this spot against Golden State. I play bigs against Golden State. It's been working for the most part. Last time he played him, he got a 74. 31, 35, 21 minutes in his last three. The games, this should be a competitive game. The Warriors need to win. Um, so I do like Rudy Gobert here, especially if he gets a 60, 70 burger, which is highly possible against Golden State. Probably my favorite center play of the slate. Get him in there. 8.5. I'll put him as my thumbnail today. How about that? Clint Capella has been absolute garbage. He's 8.4K, but you can't ignore the fact that he is playing Washington. 42, 46 in his last two against him. Um, they're going to need him. They're going to need him. Washington is ranked 30th in the league against Biggs. So it'll be a nice bounce back spot. You probably get him at really low ownership. $700 cheaper on Fandle. Love the Fandle play for Capella. Really cheap over there. But if you don't do nothing, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Jonas Valanciunas, 8.2K. Love it. I love that he's getting over 30 minutes a game. I love it that it's against New Orleans, 56-47 in his last two. He's in play. And he's $200 cheaper on Pandal. I think I see that correctly. So I don't mind that. Um, let's see. Who else? Jackson Hayes had another great game. He's 4.5K. I wouldn't mind it. I honestly wouldn't. That's two good games now in a row. I know Willie Hernan Gomez starts, but he's only been playing like 20, 21 minutes. So it's kind of been split between him and Jackson Hayes. And a 4.5K, give me Jackson Hayes, guys, and the savings. Um, and that's going to do it for the picks. Yeah, guys, so I'm on a little little uh, winning streak in, in uh, NBA, and I always do this. Like, at the end of the season, I'll go out on this monster streak, guys. If you want to join the family, you want my lineups, guys, you want to join the DFS club, you already know what it is, DFS club. Dot com where you got two providers in one you got dfs space myself skywalker dfs you don't just get one sport you get every sport known to mankind 
NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, everything, guys. You get to come and hang out with all of us. Uh, I'm in there. Space is in there. Everybody's in there. LT hopped on for a minute on the podcast today to say what's up, say hi to everybody, let us know that he's been working hard. So shout out to him for jumping on today with me. Click join now. Again, we do the members only podcast one hour before lock. And I'll, we'll be doing that. LT and I, LT says he's going to be with me every day on the MLB one. So that'll be nice. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And remember, guys, only a week left in the season for NBA. We're going to have WNBA, which is Space's speciality. We got MLB, which is my speciality. Guys, we got you covered. We're the cheapest in the business, and it's not even close. We got a big UFC card this weekend. I already can't wait for that. Packed house in Houston, Texas. Let's go. And DFS, man, and with, the, with these big cards, we, we don't lose. We do not lose. I put too much damn time in watching fight tape and all that stuff. So dfsclub.com guys come join the family we'd love to have you and don't forget about draft dashboard one dollar for 30 days i'll leave the link in the description below you yourself can have draft dashboard and with that said i'm gonna get up out of here guys that's a wrap and let's start off this week with a bang shall we all right guys i'm gonna say a prayer for everybody like we always do god bless you god bless your families god bless your pets god bless the mothers happy mother's day God bless the fathers. You already know what it is. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. My name is Gabriel Skywalker. It's been a pleasure being your host this evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.